Praise the Lord, family, and greetings from Discipling Ministries, located in Radcliffe, Kentucky. We pray you receive this message in good health and in perfect peace. This week, our Food from a Raven continues with Part 3, Jesus Wept, So What's Up With You? Our text is taken from Acts, the 8th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Now Saul was consenting to his death. At that time, a great persecution arose against the church, which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. Jesus wept, so what's up with you? We have already discussed over the past two weeks reference John the 11th chapter and even verse 35, and the fact that Jesus wept. Now, here we find in our text that devout, meaning devoted, sincere, men carrying Stephen, a man of God, away for burial and making great lamentation. In other words, it was grief. It, it, they, they were deeply mourning and weeping over Stephen. What does this mean to us, the believers? As we look around our personal lives, our communities, and the ministry God has placed us in or given us, are we able to identify the persecution that has arose in scattering the people of God? Are we able to identify that the people of God are being falsely accused and even being killed? Jesus wept, so what's up with you? Have we gotten so caught up in being religious that we've become blind? Have we gotten so caught up in my ministry until nothing else matters? Have we gotten so caught up in the music ministry or hee-hawing from the pulpit that we can't see the devastation occurring around us? Are there any more devout men left that's willing to lament, to cry out on behalf of those that are dying or spiritually dead? Willing to cry out for those that are scattered and can't stand on their own? Is there anybody willing to cry out for our communities, our state, and this great nation with which we live? Jesus wept, so what's up with you? Jesus told his disciples prior to leaving in John the 16th chapter in the 20th verse, you shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. Devout men and women, there's a mandate for us to cry out to God if we really desire to see change. The world is laughing and rejoicing at our ineffectiveness because we're too prideful, lifted, arrogant, and just plain stubborn to humble ourselves and cry out to the Father that our sorrow be turned into joy. Jesus wept. So what's up with you? Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and praying for you.